to run. It's good to have everyone here. Is there anyone that's new here today? First time. No first timers. I hear we have a new baby. It's Zane, is that correct? Zane? All right. Well, um, we've got a rose up here for Zane. And, uh, God bless you all. I hope the, the baby gets is healthy and well. Yes? Okay. All right. So we just recently had the, the Wellsboro Choir up here, and they sent us a, a thank you card. Uh, it says, with sincere thanks and appreciation, and all the women signed it, some of them saying that this is their favorite church. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people say that about a lot of churches, but with this church, I can actually believe it might be true. Um, it's a really, a really neat place to come. So good to have you all here. Um, the men's breakfast is coming up a couple weeks, the 16th of this month, and then on the 17th, we have a packing party, I guess we call it, where we'll probably do some shoe boxes and um, I'm not sure, but but is that is that what we're doing for the 17th? Yes, my wife's down, and yes. So. Uh, it also kind of double ups, doubles up as a birthday party for my boy Jubal. He's turning 11. So that's his birthday is actually on the, the 22nd, but we'll be celebrating that on the 17th as well. Um, my wife and I would like anyone who doesn't have prior plan, prior plans for Thanksgiving to come join us for Thanksgiving with us. And if there's enough people that show up for that, we'll have it at the church. If it's a small enough group, we'll just do it in our, our home up the hill there, the parsonage. But if you do not have someone else to have Thanksgiving with, then come join us. I mentioned last week that I feel as a pastor, in order to do a good job, that it's my conviction that it would, it would help me out if y'all would take a moment to write me a note. And so I put a list. I don't have it in all the hymnals yet, but there's a list in, in some of the hymnals. I'm going to read it real, quick, real quickly, and then we'll have a moment to prepare our hearts for worship. So here's the list. Is I said, whatever you would like to write to me, um, ask me a question, define a Bible term, tell a joke, write a comment, explain a hardship, provide a correction, pass on some news, ask for prayer, impart some wisdom, share Bible information, tell me about yourself, mention a favorite quote, make a suggestion, state a fact, or recount a story. Or anything else you want to write, but I would be blessed if you could take the time, grab a small square of paper that might be in front of you in the pew there, and just write a sentence or two, drop it in the offering plate or in the, the suggestions box in the back, and it will help me be better at doing what I'm doing, and, and knowing a little more about you, or knowing a little bit more about your feelings, or, or what you think. So if you could do that, and um, we'll open with a time of preparing our hearts for worship. Thank you. Um.
All right, if everyone could please stand. We're going to sing hymn number 489, Pass Me Not. Let me pray real quick before we open. Lord, I thank you for this time. I thank you for being able to gather and worship you and hear from your word. I thank you for all who are here. I pray that this time would be a blessing and that we may glorify you through this time, Lord. Thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. Before we start this song, it's written by Fanny Crosby. One of the things I noticed in this song, she normally has someplace in her song where she refers to 